may be too early to say this, or I guess not at all, as we draw close to the halfway mark of the spring 2023 anime season, but Skip and Loafer could very well be one of my most favorite shows of this season. Of course, there's a lot of big hitters currently stealing both our attention and our hearts, but Skip and Loafer just has this alluring charm about it. And, you know, it's a story that's executed to almost perfection with its broad set of very well-designed characters. Skip and Loafer is a slice of life series, which is based on the manga series written and drawn by Misaki Takamatsu. And I gotta say, you'll honestly be in love with Skip and Loafer by the time just the OP starts. Its animation is so simple, but that's its core strength. It doesn't need to blow you away with its visuals, but to let you just sit back and enjoy them. Now, I actually had the first volume of the series sat on my bookshelf that I'd gotten from a subscription box and I'd never touched it, but I, I went straight to this after seeing a couple of episodes and I have to say that the adaptation from the manga is absolutely spot on. For me, the key word to this series is simple. You know, it doesn't need anything flashy to really sell it as, you know, both the story and characters do more than enough themselves to do so. Plus, I think its simple style is what's, you know, going for it in my opinion. Let's take the main character, Mitsumi. You know, her design is so plain as they come, but that's exactly what her character needs to be. There's just something so super special about her as she literally just makes me smile whenever she's on screen. Like, honestly, sometimes she's just like there doing absolutely nothing at all, but I just end up doing that like happy laugh when you see her. You know the one like where you, just, you don't have anything to laugh about, but you just do because you feel that little buzz of positive emotion deep in your gut that overflows into this audible noise of joy. Yes, that's how well this series does an amazing job at making you feel a connection with its characters. With Skip and Loafer, it really is the strong writing that makes this series and the visuals are like really only there to emphasize the emotions that its characters are going through. Whether it's a shot that like depicts Mitsumi's embarrassed face or a close up that reveals the like proper gnarly bags under her eyes after pulling an all-nighter, her expressions just radically change from scene to scene. And I gotta say, it's through these different expressions that she pulls that you just you just totally get her. You know exactly how she's feeling, not just meets me, but all of its characters, in fact, and it's just such an incredible experience. Series that make me feel a real connection or feeling towards either its characters or story are the series I really hold up there in the highest of regards. And I've got to say that Skip and Loafer is most certainly one of those shows. Now, the story of Skip and Loafer follows the 15-year-old Mitsumi, who is moving to Tokyo for high school after spending her entire life in a tiny town in the Ishikawa prefecture, where her whole class consisted of like eight people. What's really cool about Mitsumi is that she's got her entire life planned out, from you know graduating honors to establishing a position in the Ministry of Internal Affairs to address the critical issues surrounding rural depopulation. Yes, she's gone that far. However, despite knowing exactly how she wants her life to pan out, her first day of school does not go as planned at all. She had full, full belief that her intelligence would like let her navigate the tube system in Tokyo on her own, and she just ends up becoming completely disorientated. She fails to take experience into account and gets lost. However, a laid-back, kind-hearted boy named Shima comes to her rescue. And I've got to say, it's the connection between these two characters that is really good to watch. Mitsumi's like this, you know, jittery overachiever who manages to mix being, you know, competent and smart with hot mess in a, like, a really believable and entertaining manner, if you will. Then there's, like, the charming Shima, you know, he's this sleepy-eyed, fluffy-haired kid, you know, rescuing Mitsumi from her, like, misery when she gets lost in the tube station. His viewpoint is, like, extremely different from hers. However, their dynamic comes across crosses a like a nice difference in personalities instead of this tiresome like oh you know she's an overachiever and he's a slacker you know will one change the other it's cool it's a bit different and that's what i really like about it you know even though shima does show up to save the day on like several occasions throughout the story it's like this aspect of their relationship isn't overdone to the point of like sighing you know it allows me to obviously benefit from his assistance without feeling like she's a girl who is useless without his assistance if that makes sense this girl is like more than capable of taking care of herself she just you know has her own way about going about it sometimes comical sometimes a complete fail 
She's brilliant. She's like this amazing two completely opposite ends of the scale thing going on where like on one end of the scale, she can recite her whole entrance ceremony speech perfectly. But then straight after that, hopping to the other end of the scale, she then immediately goes and throws up straight over her new teacher in front of everyone. She makes mistakes and has these very awkward times. However, the show makes you feel like you're like right there along with her rather than the show slamming her down to make fun of her. Mizumi Mi is just unique. I feel because she has a clear and simple way of expressing her feelings. One of her core strengths is in communication because of her eagerness to express her ideas and beliefs, even if they are different from others. And although she can occasionally come across as naive, her desire for personal development and betterment is clear. Her willingness to take chances and to learn from her mistakes makes her somebody who will certainly succeed in the future. Now, the counter to that is Shima. He's like a city guy, intelligent and attractive. You know, he's a really nice guy who is considerate of others, yet he hides his genuine emotions and has a very secretive side to him. However, after the incident at the entrance ceremony, he grows closer to meets me and, you know, despite himself, is affected by her commitment to everything and i gotta say that's the refreshing thing with their relationship it's it's that you know as mentioned they're not trying to change each other but they are learning from one another and in doing so they are learning to bring out the best of themselves through the strength of the other all while the two are supporting each other along the way and the cool thing about them is that their relationship isn't a romantic one from the start but a close friendship they are both like the exact type of person that they need in their lives which makes them a great match whether them being a great match romantically will be the right thing for them is yet to be seen. Well, for us anime watchers anyway, but there is something so pure and innocent about watching the two grow even closer with each passing week. However, this show isn't solely focused on these two. There really is a great bunch of characters that form the little friendship circle that is being formed within the show. And that all stems from the same common theme, which is how Mitsumi being how Mitsumi is, is bringing out the best of each of the other characters in the same way that Shima and Mitsumi are experiencing themselves within their own relationship. Like we have Mika who has this strong sense of femininity and is sensitive to fashion. She never stops trying to better herself and is constantly thinking about others. Yet she may also be a little cold hearted at times. At first, she has little interest in Mitsumi, choosing like to kind of use her in order to get closer to Shima, who, you know, Mika obviously has a clear crush on. But before she realizes it, she's definitely growing close to Mitsumi. Yuzuki is a stunningly beautiful girl with distinctive and attractive features that inevitably draw attention. She doesn't really consider herself as the ideal like superhuman, you know, with no complexes that many around her frequently perceive her as, but it's through Mitsumi that she can really open up and be the true her. And then finally we have Makoto. She's like quiet, shy, and prone to overanalyzing situations. She does, however, also want to change. She met Meets Me because of her interest in the student council. She dislikes girly girls and has always struggled to make friends due to feeling so different. But as her friendship with Meets Me deepens, so do hers, particularly with Yuzuki. Skip and Lofa is the perfect feel-good show this season and a show that has most certainly captured my attention full-heartedly with its pacing, strong wit, and its beautifully done emotional moments. Skip and Lofa, for me, is basically a vibe and one I strongly recommend you get caught up on this season. Now, while you wait for the next video to drop, why not check out this video where I talk about uh, another show exactly like this one, if you want that chill vibe in My Love Story with Yamanakun at level 999. But guys, that is it from me. I will see you soon for some more. Take care of yourselves till then. And I'll see you soon. Peace, peace.